Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I will show you how you can generate stream from digital elevation model. For this I will open my digital elevation model from my area of interest. So this is my area of interest. You can also download the digital elevation model from the uh, within the global mapper from go to the file and download online imagery and digital elevation and terrain maps or you can download from other sites and you can you can load it here for, like you can download it from usgs earth explorer and other lots of uh, sites can provide uh, they are providing the digital elevation model so for now i will use the, this digital elevation model now click on the create watershed tool now you can see that here the stream threshold uh, it says uh, specify how much ground area or how much or how many cells the flow must accumulate from for a cell to be considered part of the stream it says that how many cells of your digital elevation model should be considered that to generate a stream how it, it says that like uh, for example uh, this this digital elevation model is 30 meter resolution 30 by 30 meter resolution so each cell is 30 by 30 the pixels or the the pixel of this digital elevation model is 30 meter 30 by 30 meter so 30 by 30 meter area is consists of only one cell okay so it says this how much cells should be considered to generate the stream and larger value result so th this is actually the stream cell counts for example i have selected 500 this means 500 cells will be considered to generate a stream from 500 cells the flow will come into that stream okay that will generate only one stream in that and from that only one stream will be generated so if i uh, write here a larger value or put a larger value here so what does the larger value means Larger value result result in, in only more major water flows being classified as stream. For now, I will only I will um, leave it by default. And what does the stream drainage area means? For example, if I uh, check uh, or select the stream drainage area, so it will says that stream drainage area means I will put a number here and the unit of that number will be this one square kilometer or you can also change that now for example I put it here so I will put here the va the value of 10 so the 10 10 means uh, square kilometer 10 square kilometers so from the 10 square kilometers only one stream will be in that area only one stream will be generated so if you put here 100 so it will generate the stream in 100 square kilometer only one stream will be generated in 100 square kilometer area so i will select the stream cell count for now okay now it says uh, discard stream start less than 50 50 and the unit is meter in length so those stream will be discarded or will not be generated whose length is less than 50 meter so it will be automatically uh, discarded if i check uh, this box like this but uh, for now i will not check it i will uncheck it you can also um, uh, check or uh, and check and and you can uh, play with all of these options for your uh, and like trace flow from selected lines trace flow from selected point like this and 
interpolate to fill small gaps in the data but uh, it's not needed because uh, it by default all of the uh, the fill or the, the gaps will be filled uh, in this process later on you will see that now for now i will uh, uncheck the calculate streams the stroller stream or just leave it i will show you what does the stroller stream order means okay for now i will click uh, you can also select the bounds like i have shown you uh, in the other values uh, variables like you can draw a box and in this area the watershed will be generated the stream will be generated for now i will leave it like by uh, okay now click okay so it is generating the stream filling the dep uh, depressions all of the depressions will be filled by this tool now calculating flow accumulation it's actually calculating the flow accumulation the uh, accumulation where the flow will be accumulated to that point now building watershed watershed means from where the flow will come into the stream from that actually represent the area i will show you later now let me uncheck the digital elevation model now you can see that here the stream have been generated and you can see the watershed area so this is the watershed area this this green this uh, blue these are all watersheds so in this from to this stream the flow comes from all these locations from this area from now you, you can also see the watershed area of this stream this pink color the purple color stream this stream have the watershed all of the water they are coming from the from this area to this stream so actually these colorful areas that have been marked is the watershed the area from which the these particular stream have been feeding okay and these are the streams okay now let me uncheck the drainage uh, network watershed area you can see the streams now let me right click on it and go to the options in the option you can also label the stream i will use the stroller stream stroller and apply now okay now you can see the the streams have been labeled with the stroller numbers the stroller numbers are you can you can right click on it edit the attributes and you can see here the stroller numbers 1 2 3 and up to 5 what does actually the stroller stream order means the stroller stream order is a system for classifying the hierarchy upstream and rivers from smallest to largest based on their tributaries first order stream have no tributaries when two first order stream combine they form second order stream when two second order stream combine they form third order stream and so on the order increase only when stream of the same order converge how i will show you here this first and first stream first order stream and first stream combine and form second order stream just like the second order stream this is the first order stream now the first order stream and the second order stream combine and form the third order stream this yellow orange color like this when when the uh, the highest order will form when first when the two same order combine the third the, the the first the second order will form like this like the same order when combined it form the next higher order 
like two. Just like when two two combine, it form the third order stream, and and so on. And when the third order stream, this is the third order stream and third order stream. When the third and third combine, it form the fourth order stream. But you can see here the third order stream and the first order stream combine the order will will be not will be will be unchanged and the higher order will be retained how i will show you here like this the first order uh, and first order stream combine it form the next higher order and this is the second and second order so the third order will be formed but the third plus first order will combine and the higher order will be in this the higher order will be retained like in this one uh, first order and fourth order the fourth will be retained like this the fourth plus fourth will fifth order will be formed and here you can also see the higher order is retained the higher order is retained now here also the higher order is retained you can see here in all these like the third plus third order so the fourth order will be formed like this now you can see here this is the first order stream and this is also the first order stream so the next second order stream has been formed like this you can see it now here you can also see the first order first order stream the second order stream has been formed but the second order stream and the first order stream have been combined and the second order stream has been retained like this now here you can see this is the second order stream and this is also the second order stream when it combines, it forms the third order stream. This one. You can also go to the options and you can change the line labels. For example, let me change the color uh, to red, for example. Now click OK and apply. You can also change the layer projection labels. For example, I have selected the stroller. So you can play with these uh, watershed tools. Now, let me uh, remove it from here. Close. Now I will generate uh, a little bit. I will increase this uh, stream cell count to 50,000 for example. Now let me click OK. Now you can see most of our area have been discarded because I have selected a very larger stream uh, cell counts. So all of the stream, all of the all of the watershed that have fifty thousand of stream cell count have been included, and all the other have been discarded. So keep in mind that how you will select the um, stream cell count. It's depend on your area of interest uh, and the relative elevation of your digital elevation model.